Oh, uh, running a test here with super magnets. So definitely, definitely areas that are magnetic, non-magnetic, and <laughs> okay. Seems to like it there. I don't know what's. Oops. That's interesting. Hmm. At least that one pole does, anyway. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, the elements inside this non-magnetic stainless maybe have migrated to the center. <laughs> it's a high possibility. There we go. Mm. Now, Don now is holding it and rotating it. Yeah, right here, just just before that pole is polar is polarized. Fascinating. And let's see. So you would think that there would be the opposite polarity on the other side. One would think. But I'm not really seeing. That a little bit. I wonder if they would um, flip from one end to the other of it, like of the bar itself. But I think it's all mic. Ah, we're getting good. Will it do it? Will it flip around like a normal magnet? It likes that one pole right there. Okay. Let's see, let me, let me try forcing it to the other pole. See what okay. happens. Nope, it won't have it. Hmm. It won't. Ha it won't cooperate. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's down there? It's like a thing. Yeah. Hey. It, it likes that one pole. Mm. Yeah. Look. Wow. So I almost. I may be oh. wrong, but I. I'd almost have to say uh, the elements in the bar migrated to the center, maybe, but didn't explode apart like the other bars would do. In fact, this this pole doesn't really seem interested at all. How about the edges? Nothing. Not that strong, right? Let me try forcing this around again. Nope. nope. It doesn't like it. It I doesn't. Like it, it doesn't like this pole. I think it's <laughs> acting like a like a large scale magnetic monopole. Yep, that's what it seems like. That's what we used to had happen once before a long time ago with a uh, file, metal file that floated into five different parts. But yeah, because there's not. I'm not finding. Anywhere on the bar where it's attracted to this end. Yeah, they're pole. Doesn't like it. It's all one push out, I guess. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't know that either. I mean, good heavens. I should know these things, but I've been sitting in the bucket for years and years and just play, play with a magnet with it. And Getting some very interesting effects here. Yeah, there's nowhere, there's nowhere I've seen so far where it's actually attracted. See, look. Yeah. It's, it it on this on this side of the magnet, it doesn't even feel. Or, well, there it goes. Yeah, it didn't even feel magnetic for a minute there. Mm hmm But on this other side, it's highly magnetic. Hmm. Can you imagine if one could make um, bars that were <laughs> actively pulsating <laughs> magnetic fields? You yeah. could have little generators. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that absolutely. is it, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. 
then you got to ask yourself, where is the energy coming from? Mm-hmm. This bar was created under very unusual conditions um, by, well, I guess you're truly in as machines at one time. I don't know if, if these things are commercially available now. I have no idea, but... They could be working on it in Black Ops. Hmm. Or a secret. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know. I'm not into the politics of it. <laughs> Are you, Carla? No, I'm not into Carla. I'm not into politics. <laughs> That's good. I know nothing. I'm from Barcelona. <laughs> oh, camera lady's laughing her head off there. Okay. Don here is scratching his head. You can you can be that the scientist do that. It'll be on TV and you can do Carla. That would be hilarious. 